success of the greater Clinton region. Grow Clinton This Morning, a program in partnership with KROS. Well, the first program of the year, Leslie in studio. She brought some guests with her. We're going to find out about the Eagle Watch. It'll be coming up this weekend. Leslie, how were the holidays for you? My holidays were fantastic. They were fast, but very lovely. How about yours? Real good. Thank you. So who'd you bring in with you today? So I brought Hannah and Carrie. They are from Clinton County Conservation. And so I've been able to work with them as we're getting ready for the 40th annual Bald Eagle Days, which is this weekend, Saturday. Okay, well, let's get started. Who wants to go first, Carrie or Hannah? I can go first. Okay, Carrie, slide the microphone over to you. So uh, tell us a little bit about what will be taking place this weekend. Yeah, so there will be tons of different educational presentations um, and different booths set up at the Clinton Community College there. Um, The welcome will be uh, by Jacqueline uh, Albrecht um, uh, and Matthew Chahasky. So that will be really awesome to see what they have to say. And then uh, later on, there'll be lots of live birds of prey uh, presentations. So you'll actually get to see some of those birds up close and personal and learn a lot about them. So what time does everything get started on Saturday? Um, So at the Clinton Community College, uh, we'll start up that welcome at 9.30 a.m. And then pretty much every hour after that, we'll have a presentation at 10 a.m., at 11 a.m., um, at 12.30 p.m., and then at 1.30 p.m., we'll actually be doing our kids' program there. So. Okay, well, who wants to talk about the kids' program? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's going to be Saturday at 1.30, yep. again, at the Clinton Community College. So what's all being planned for that? Um, so our planning for that, we're going to kind of talk about the habitats that we have here in Iowa. Um, and we're going to be using our imaginations and kind of transporting the kids to these different habitats. Um, and talking about what we can find in those habitats. So it'll be a really fun time, I think. All right, very good. Hannah, you got some notes there. Why don't you fill us in on what's going on? Slide the microphone over there to Hannah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I just kind of had the same thing as Carrie with the, the schedule. It's also the 100th year anniversary of the Upper Mississippi Wildlife and Fish Refuge. So that's pretty exciting, too. Um, as well as Clinton Community, um, there will also be eagle watching at Lock 13 in Fulton. And that goes from 8.30 to 2.30. So there's going to be some warming stations, some snacks and drinks, and there will be some members from uh, the Army Corps of Engineers there to help identify things and kind of talk about the lock and dam, too. All right. Now, will there be any kind of a shuttle service from the college to the lock and dam then? Yes. Yep. There will be a shuttle. I believe there's more than one van, so they should be going back and forth continuously throughout the day. Um, to take people from Clinton community to the lock and dam. Now, you are both relatively new with the Clinton (laughs) County Conservation, so trying to prepare something like this, how did that go for you, first of all, Hannah? Um, It's been exciting. I'm really excited to see all the different booths and meet some new people in those other organizations, Um, but it's also really exciting for our area. It's pretty incredible seeing all the eagles congregate at the lock and dam, so it's definitely a sight to see. But it's also been really good working with Jacqueline and Carrie, too, and um, kind of putting it all together. Okay, well, Carrie, talk a little bit about the the booths. What kind of booths are we going to be seeing? Yeah, so there's a ton of booths that are going to be there. Um, We got the Andreessen Center uh, from Fulton. We're actually going to have a booth, too, talking all about the um, animals of the Mississippi River. So that'll be fun. Uh, You'll also see the Clinton County Master Gardeners will be there. Uh, Grow Clinton and Fulton Tourism uh-huh. will be there. That's me. Uh, the Isaac Walton League, the Stewards of the Upper Mississippi River Refuge, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers will have a booth, and then the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And uh, they all bring, like, really cool stuff uh, that have to do with animals. They might have some taxidermy to animals there to see as well. So... Uh, yeah, it'll be really cool to visit all those booths. What a great family event. Now, again, it'll be this Saturday. Any cost involved in this at all? No, this is completely free event. So Very good. Well, let's find out a little bit about the Clinton County Conservation. Where are you located? What are some of your responsibilities? What do you guys all do? So we have um, our office in Grand Mound um, there, and then we have nature centers, 
Um, the Eden Valley Nature Center is right outside of Baldwin, and then we have the Rock Creek um, Ecotourism Center in Comanche. So uh, we're always going back and forth, having events at both of our nature centers, um, and we have lots of live animals. So a lot of our job is taking care of those guys as well. I've been down to that eco one down just south of Comanche, and that is really interesting. And I know it's so beautiful. A lot of work went into that, certainly before you two came on board. But uh, did you get a chance to visit that at all? You're from Fulton, and uh, you're where are you from, Carrie? I'm from uh, Rockford, Iowa. Okay. Uh, so I, w I hadn't been in the area and hadn't gotten to visit that area before I... I started, but it's really cool working, working out of there. So. And you went to Iowa State University, and yeah. uh, so how did you end up in Clinton County? <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> um, I saw the job opening, and I really liked the location being right on the river here, so I put in an application, and the rest is history. <laughs> well, very good. And Hannah, you're a, a Fulton native. You told me you went to Wisconsin Stevens Point. What's their program like there? It's great. They have a really big natural resource program, and I knew growing up as a kid that I wanted to be working in the outdoors, and once I got there, I kind of realized that I wanted to focus on uh, education mostly. So I graduated with a resource management degree with an emphasis in environmental education and interpretation, and I just love it. I love teaching, and I love being outside. So, so you are a Fulton native, so you're still in the area. Yeah. Yes, yep. <laughs> I, I graduated, and I came back, and... I feel very fortunate to be able to work um, at a place that I enjoy being so close to home. Do you get a chance to go to the various schools and do presentations, demonstrations to the, the school children? Yes, yeah, so usually uh, November through March is when we're going into schools throughout the winter season. So we go to all sorts of the Clinton schools, um, DeWitt, Midland, kind of all over the county. We're usually spread out almost every day, going to different places. Okay, I appreciate you both coming in again. It'll be this Saturday. Again, give us a rundown of what's all going to be taking place that day. So this Saturday at Clinton Community College from 9.30 to about 2.30, there will be all sorts of different programs, booths to check out. Um, there will be food and drinks to buy if you if you would like to hang out through lunch. Um, and then at the same time, 8.30 to 2.30, there will be eagle watching at uh, Lock 13 in Fulton. And again, there'll be shuttle service between the college and the uh, Lock and Dam 13. Well, Leslie, I appreciate you bringing these two young ladies in. Very interesting. Sure. It's been a lot of fun to work with them. And I know that's something that um, tourism had been involved with the eagle watch in years past. And then that, I think, kind of fell away during the pandemic. And so last year, I wasn't very involved um, outside of a meeting or two. So this will be fun for me to be back and actually be there and be part of all the the classes. I offered to bring in a giant bird today, but, you know... <laughs> You thought maybe that wouldn't work in yeah, the radio maybe station. Not, yeah. <laughs> not even a little bird. I don't think it would work very well in the radio station. I'm okay station. with that. <laughs> so now you're going to have a booth there. Mm -hmm. What are you going to all have at your booth? So uh, really it'll just kind of be about the different things in the area. But one of the things I'll be highlighting is our event that's coming up February 2nd through 4th, Embrace the Winter. I've started talking about it, so you might have heard me about it on the radio. It's been in the newspaper, and you can get on Facebook and look up Embrace the Winter. So it's really three days uh, full of just every single thing we can imagine. We want everybody in our community to have something to do, and also it's a, considered an off-season tourism event. So really, um, Clinton County Conservation is involved with that also. Uh, I was emailing with I can't remember who there but about what they might have and that Friday night is the white tailed unlimited dinner already scheduled and I said well Saturday if there's snow can people come out and snowshoe and she said oh yeah if there's more than three inches of snow we have um, cross-country skis and snowshoes available so come on out for that and we're going to have so many things those three days so be looking. There's a lot worth looking at. Okay, what are the dates again? February 2nd through 4th. The 2nd is Friday Night Lights. We're going to have bonfires uh, on the streets in both Fulton and Clinton in the downtowns. Saturday is Burry Scurry right. uh, in the afternoon. Saturday night is an age 21 plus uh, event. It is Ultra Mega Capture the Flag in Heritage Canyon. Uh, after dark in the winter is going to be a lot of fun. You have to assume your own liability. So it is 21 plus. 
Sunday, we have a slip and slide bike ride coming. And then Sunday night is an all community candlelight memorial service. Interesting. And then a million things in between. That is so. great. So again, yeah, the Eagle Watch this Saturday, great family event. You might want to take a part of that. Again, it's going to be up mm -hmm. at Lock and Dam. We're getting 8 to 12 inches of snow, so there should be snow come <sighs> early February. Yes. And I, I think that would probably help drive the Eagles down a little further south, this colder weather and the snow. I agree. I think they'll definitely be grouping up this weekend. All right, very good. Thank you all for coming in. Thank today. you. Thank you. Clinton, a regional nonprofit organization focused on promoting business growth, building community, and advocating for the sustainable economic success of the greater Clinton region. Grow Clinton This Morning, a program in partnership with KROS. Heard every Monday at 9.05, Grow Clinton here on your total source, KROS.